Cambodia, I think, is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I fell in love with it at first, and, and the people, but, and, uh, and then I came back a few years later with the UN. I was playing uh, bricks with a little boy on the floor. We were playing with these blocks, and I, it dawned on me that my family was here. And that, um, that, and I had never really, I'd, I'd thought about adoption, but I hadn't really, it hadn't all made sense. It hadn't come together. It hadn't, I wasn't ready to be a mom. I didn't know anything. I just, but I saw this little boy, and I, I thought, I don't know, I don't believe in fate or destiny or things like that, but something suddenly felt right. And then I came back a third time and, and uh, met my son. It was a really, really big education for me in how much I didn't learn in school because I had, they would touched on the Vietnam War and they touched on maybe a little bit about Cambodia, but they really didn't, uh, in the school I went to, uh, get in, in, into, uh, into depth about really what happened and really how much these people suffered and really how horrific it was. And the point is they've been through all of that and they live in extreme poverty. And they are some of the most sweet-natured uh, people you'll ever meet in your life. And you can't imagine how they can be so at peace and so kind and so open um, with what they've gone through. And you think, how is that? You know, can you imagine the things we complain about? There's a very, very dark, heavy side to this country, but there's also an, a, 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 a great deal of beauty and an extraordinary amount of good, and good people doing, doing great work and, and helping each other. And it is extremely important to focus on all that they do have that's beautiful and all that they have accomplished and all that they've come through considering their past.
Cambodian Kingdom of Wonder。